The seventh timetable. In this short video, we'll look at some tricks to help us remember the seventh timetable and we'll make use of this box full of cubes to help us visualize the seven times table. So as the name suggests seven times table, it means we're doing something seven times. So if I put my hand in this box seven times and I got one cube each time, I'll end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So seven times one is seven. If I do this seven times and I get two cubes instead each time, then I'll end up with 14 in total. And seven times three will give us 21. So seven rows of three. Seven times four will give us 28. Seven times five, 35. Seven times six, 42. Seven times seven, 49. Seven times eight, 56. Seven times nine, is 63, 7 times 10 is 70, 7 times 11 is 77, 7 times 12 is 84. As you will have noticed in the pattern, we add in 7 each time, so 7 and 7 makes 14 and another 7 is 21 and another 7 is 28 and so on. So this can help us a lot with working out the seven times table. But first of all, seven times one, you'll notice already that it is seven. Two dots of seven, because seven times two is the same as two times seven. So you know the two times table trick. So seven and seven makes 14, so you can use that. You also know the strategies for the three times table. So seven and seven and seven, that's going to give us 21. And four lots of seven, which we can break down into two and two. So double seven is 14 and another 14 gives us 28. And looking at the fives, fives are quite straightforward because you go five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And looking at the six, so you can break this down into double, so two and two and two. So double of seven is 14, another 14, 28, another 14 is 42. So that's one way to work out. Or maybe you can use the five time table. So five times seven and then add another seven on it. So that's gonna make 42 again. Seven times seven, that's a key number. So I suggest you repeat this a number of times to help you memorize it. But you could also use the six times table add seven on top and that gives us 49 or use the five time table and you can add 14 on top so seven and seven and seven times eight for example you could use the previous numbers or you could break down the seven into bits or the eight into bits and i'll show you what i mean by that so seven times eight we can have and show this through the cubes. So seven rows of eight each. Now we can break this down into three and four. If you know the three times eight, for example, so the three at the top, so we can make it three times eight, which is 24. And then four times eight, which is 32. Add them together, it gives us 56. Or you could have broken down the eight into parts, for example, as you can see, into lots of two. So two and two and two and two make eight. And there is seven in each of these columns so we can go 
two lots of seven, 14, there's going to be 14 here as well. So this makes 28. There's going to be another 28 over here, which both together make 56. So we can tick this off. Now looking at seven times nine, that is 63. And in fact, I can suggest that you look at seven times 10, which is 70 and take away seven. So going backwards means taking away seven. So that gives us 63, or you could break it down either the nine into three and three and three lots of seven. So we could do it like this. So that'll be 21 and 21 and 21, and that gives us 63. Or we could look at the eight and add seven on top. So eight times seven is 56, add another seven, it gives us 63. And I'll share in the nine timetables video, a nice trick for the nines specifically. So that will help you as well. Seven times 10, as we've mentioned before, is seven and add a zero at the end. So that makes 70 and it's nice and easy to work out. Seven times 11 is 77. Again, that's nice and easy to work out. So the digit repeats itself twice. Seven times 12, we can break the 12 down into 10 and two because 10 and two make 12. So 10 times seven is 70. 2 times 7 is 14, add them together and it gives us 84. So I suggest that you go and write all of these facts down on a piece of paper or post it, repeat them again and again till you've memorised them in order.